Hi you guys! This is going to be the first edition of a video series that I'm going to call IFYS. It's information for your situation and the situation basically being life. And the situation topic and specifics will change from video to video. But this week we're going to talk about rape and homosexual rape. The past few days in my workplace everyone's been talking about that S word rape case, I can't remember the name of the place. They've also been talking about other people who are slightly homophobic. And I feel like the main stigma around straight men and gay men is that straight men feel like gay men are trying to flip them or turn them into gay men or they're gonna rape them and try to turn the straight guy gay. I felt like a lot of these people had uneducated opinions about rape and homosexuality and homosexual rape and stuff. If you're gonna have an opinion, you need to be educated about it so you can justify your opinion without sounding like an idiot. I also wanted to do this because I really just like researching stuff for the random shits and giggles of it. And maybe it'll help justify what you've learned and researched about the topic. First we're gonna start off with some rates and statistics and then we're gonna do busting myths with facts and then we're just gonna do random facts and we're gonna talk a little bit about corrective rape. I wanted to look up the rates of males and females and homosexuals and how many of them were actually rapists and the rate of the victim. The male rapist rate is 99% convicted. The female rapist rate is 1% convicted. The homosexual rapist rate I could not find because most of the results I got when I was looking for homosexual rape turned up jail rape. Female rape victim rate is 20% of all women and 17% of those have ended in a pregnancy. Oh. The male rape victim rate is 1 in 10 men and the homosexual rape victim rate is 31% for lesbians and 12% for gay men. Now to the myths and facts. Myth. Rape is caused by lust or uncontrollable sexual urges. Fact. Rape is an act of physical violence and domination that is not motivated by sexual gratification. The rapist just wants to have power instead of just getting their dick wet. Being a straight up. You're a lady with the word. Myth. Once a man gets sexually aroused, he just cannot stop. Fact. Men do not physically need to have sex after becoming aroused. They are still able to control themselves after becoming aroused. You really think a man just can't stop once he gets a boner? Like, really? Come on. I've had it happen to me plenty of times. <laughs> Myth. Women often lie and falsely accuse someone of rape. Fact. False reports make up 2% or less of reported cases. <laughs> Myth. Women provoke sexual assault by their parents. Sexual attractiveness is primary in rape. Fact. Rapists do not select victims by appearance, but by vulnerability and accessibility. So, if a girl gon' dress like a slut, she can dress like a slut. Don't judge. Just because someone acts a certain way sexually or dresses a certain way sexually, that does not give an excuse for someone to rape them. There is no excuse for rape. I don't care if someone's holding a gun to your head and saying, rape this girl or I'm gonna kill you. You take the bullet to the brain, my friend. Myth. Sexual assault is a topic that only concerns women and not men. Fact. Men, both straight and gay, suffered 10% of sexual assault in the U.S. last year. Also, men may have people in their lives who need help coping with sexual assault. If you are a man and you think you don't need to educate yourself about rape, you are completely wrong. Because if you have a woman in your life who has been raped, you need to be there for that person. You need to help them get through it. Okay, myth. If a victim did not want to be raped, they could fight off their offender. Fact. Even if the rapist is not carrying a weapon, the element of surprise, shock, fear, and threat of harm can overpower a victim. That is the end of the myth and fact section, and now we're just gonna go straight into the random facts. Women of lower status are most vulnerable to rape, aka women of color, youth, lower class, divorced, separated, or never married. Females ages 16 to 24 have the highest likelihood of rape. One in four college women have either been raped or have suffered an attempted rape. 57% of rapes occur on a date. 33% of males say they would commit a rape if they could escape detection. And 25% of men believe that rape is acceptable if the woman asked him out, he pays for dinner, and she returns to his room afterwards. And I couldn't find a lot on corrective rape in the U.S. It's a thing that happens mostly in South Africa. Um, it is part of their government system to rape lesbians and try and make them become straight. And I don't know about you, but I feel like if I was raped by a man, I would be strictly 
game. Alright, well, bye guys. I hope I gave you a little bit more insight on rape. I didn't get to discuss my opinions very much, maybe in another video. I will be back with the new edition of IFYS soon. I'm probably actually about to film the next one right now. Bye-bye.